what sort of things have happened that you've had to come into hospital, Mr. Fisher? Uh, nothing. Not nothing. They just sent me. I can't, you know, explain. Cut that out, Doc. Cut it out. What? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Is that necessary, really? That's just part of the uh, filming that we're doing. I mean, is it necessary? Time. Yes. Yes. Okay. You're a doctor. You say it's necessary, I'll do it. You said they uh, sent you here. Who are they? All of them. See, I'm dying, really. What? I'm dying from a... Don't laugh at me, because I'm serious. I'm dying from an unknown disease. But mother and daddy know about it. What? What's the disease? I don't know. But I'm dying from it. How long have you known about this? Just not too long. But I know how to live. The best thing to do is to not... Don't you listen to this here. No, boy, I took it. The best thing to do is to annihilate the world. Start all over again and build people are talking about going to the moon the best thing to do is to annihilate the world and start over like Noah's Ark that's, that's, that's the truth Little geniuses have, have people with uh, an average IQ but they were uh, A nuts. Why did everyone think that you needed to come to hospital, Mr. Fisher? Because I let snakes by me. I see. How long have you been doing that? Letting snakes by me? Yes. I haven't been doing that too long. I've been catching them for a long time. I like to let them bite me. You get a sensation. Have you ever seen an electric wire? I know you've done this. Mm -hmm. and just look at it and then just grab it. Have you? No, I haven't done it. Like these suicide cases. They don't have suicide cases in the hospital. They don't have it. Okay. First, a suicide case is in the morgue. He's not in the hospital. Yeah. If they cut the cell, if they won't die, they'll cut it right there. I took a gun one time and clicked it three times. Didn't go out. I turned over a truck. I swallowed a bunch of pills. I, I actually get my kicks from swallowing pills. Or something, anything. But they don't, I don't, I ain't gonna tell nobody that. I can't tell nobody how I feel. I'm going to first kill myself or everybody in there. Then I'm going to kill all the attendants. I don't like those attendants. These, these, these people up here, I mean, they don't get mad at you. They don't get mad at you. They're nice. I wouldn't kill them. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to hurt nobody. Do you get angry at times too? I get, I just, I just get, you know, spells. I just, well, when I get mad, man, I'll, I had a 64 
power convertible. Yeah, the only one I can green. But I get mad at it, and I'll just tear stuff up. Or I just like to get in the building with a hammer, an axe, a glass building, and just tear it up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you think that you're uh, mentally ill? No, no, I'm not. That's why I've tried to tell them there's nothing mentally wrong with me. Mm -hmm. There's nothing emotionally wrong with me. Mm -hmm. There's nothing. I'm going to want to get out. I'm going to get me a heel. And I'm going to stay on that heel. I'm going to get me enough whiskey. I don't want nothing to eat. I'm not going to eat. I'm just going to stay on that hill. Do you feel that you want some help, though? If I needed it, sure. Do you think I need it? Yes, I think you need some help. You really do. Mm -hmm. You really do? You yes, certainly. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> All right. You think I'm next? No. No. I'm emotionally disturbed. I think you've got some problems. Smart man. When I'm by myself, I get these. I get these. These. Uh, these feelings, you know. Mm -hmm. Then when I get around people, I'm not. But when I get around them for a few minutes, then I want to. I want to drink and then just cut my throat or something. And eventually I will. You know that well as I do. Eventually, I'll do it, don't you? You know that, don't you? Eventually, I'll do it. You think so? You know how a person commits suicide? Or why a person beats another one just beyond reasoning? No. Something in his subconscious makes him mad when he's hitting that person. He's hitting him, and he knows the guy has had enough. And then it hits him, just like that. And then it keeps hitting harder and faster and harder and harder. But I don't want to hurt nobody. No, I'm sure you don't. No, like, no, y'all don't, y'all don't believe that. Say, we just have to see how you get along. Not a few weeks. I'll never change. Because when a person talks to me, mm -hmm. It don't even phase me. Okay, well, thank you very much for coming. I hope you can help. Right. Damn it, I know what the hell's wrong with me, and staying here ain't gonna help me. Whitfield ain't gonna help me. It's a problem that I can work out myself. I'm not psychotic. I act a little nutty, but that's childish, isn't it? Do you think I do the same sort of thing in agreeing with you, nodding your head? Mm -hmm. I do this too. This You don't like this? It doesn't make no difference. The way you spoke a minute ago, I got the impression you didn't like this very much. No, it's not that, Dr. West. I like y'all. I think y'all a fine bunch of men. I really do. I think you have a good job. You really want to help somebody. You got to want to help them to be a psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. But you can't. Y'all don't understand. I say you don't understand me. You don't understand my problem. I'm sure you understand it, not in that sense. But y'all don't realize that what I say, like getting out and walking around by myself, helps me. It takes attention out of me. Instead, they pump a few more damn pills in me. Mm -hmm. I'm not taking no more pills, no more nothing. I got to walk out and be refused to ever come back in here, that's what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going to do. You try to sit down and explain something to them, they now they're here. 
you're right. But I think this would be better. That's exactly what they tell you. Well, how would you react if we said the opposite, for example, that, uh, well, yes, you are very, very sick and you certainly need to be here or in Whitfield or well, something? Well, they told me that. That's what mm -hmm. Dr. Russell just got through telling me, that I am sick. I might be mentally sick. Sure, I think I am, but everybody, to an extent, is mentally ill. You are mentally ill to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that? Do you? Ask me. If I answer your question, then it's mine. Ask me. Now, what, the way I am, Did what you, has this got to do with the way I just you like, are? I'd just like to know. How would you feel? If you came up here and didn't plan on staying, and they told you to stay and you stayed, how would you feel with an aid following you? Do you feel that you could be relaxed? Would I hope I would relaxed? understand that I needed to stay here. I think I need to stay here. Mm -hmm. But would you feel relaxed with an aid? Do you think that you could cope with it better if you could walk around by yourself and go places by yourself? I like to be with people. I like to be with people, but you like to be by yourself sometimes too. You'd enjoy going to a movie or something like that. But you don't have a, someone following you around all the time. I can, I can stay on the seventh and eighth floor and that's it. That's it. Well, that's pretty good. No, it's not. No, it's not. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. And they better not try to carry me in Whitfield. Because I'm gonna put the hell of this fight they ever seen put up. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna wrestle. I'm gonna knock the hell out of them. Here's his day. It's a Dr. Russell. I know Dr. Russell is going to tell him, well, he won't stay here. The best thing to do is have him admitted at Whitfield. I know he's going to do that. Now, I might be one of the hatefulest patients y'all have ever had here, most uncooperative, but I know what I'm doing. I know. I think, do you know what's best for you? Sometimes. Do you? You do sometimes? Sometimes. Some things that people disagree, but you know are best for you, right? I like to listen to what other people have to say. But you also have your own mind to think about too. You think sometimes, someone, you think sometimes when people tell you something that your, your way would be better? Because you can be taken to Whitfield. I can? I suppose you can, can't you? I mean, people are taken to Whitfield when they don't agree with it sometimes. This is this happens. Oh, sure. They can you know that, don't you? I know it, but I'm going to make them earn the paycheck. Why would you do that? Yeah, that's just enough. He won't, if he would let me go home for a couple of days, I'd be all right. You're sort of bargaining with him, aren't you? That's what I try. Well, I think it's pretty sensible. I played halfway with him, I think. I think I've met him halfway. If he would let me go home and think about it, relax. I can't relax up here. I've got to pump me so full of stuff till I don't know which end I'm eating out of. But my God, I'm telling you, it, it, it does. It gets on your nerves after a while. They say, and then they say your nerves are shot because you're shaking. How do you feel towards us that we don't do what you want us to do? It kind of makes me mad. Because I've agreed with y'all on a lot of things. That I've might be one of your problems that you... What? That you um, can't go along with some of the things that we suggest. That you get angry as a result. You sure, think? you would too. You would too. If a guy ran up and hit your car, or something like that, and said, I didn't mean to, and you knew he did, wouldn't you be angry? Would you be angry? Does this apply in the war no, too? No, I'm just, no. Would you be angry? Just answer my question. Would you? Well, I don't quite understand what, how this relates to things I, on I the know. ward. You don't want to answer me. And you're not going to answer me. You're not going to answer any question I ask you. I don't think I'm a fool, Dr. West. No, I don't either. I don't think I think I'm a little intelligent. Mm -hmm. Not very intelligent, maybe, but a little intelligent. Well, I'm sorry that you've decided to go. Well, I think you need to be here. I think I do too, but I also think that I could cover this right up I was home for a couple of days. I'm so nervous up here. I, I wouldn't miss nervous at home. I could go out and do something and get off the mind. Okay, thank you for talking to me.